Between the end of the Civil War in 1865 and the dawn of the 20th century, the United States drastically modernized technologically. In just a few decades, it went from a largely rural agricultural society to the world's leading industrial superpower. This wasn't just change, it was a revolution. In today's video, we will discuss what is referred to as the second industrial revolution and how it defined everything from how Americans worked to how they lived, traveled, and communicated. Let's get started. In 1865, at the close of the Civil War, the United States ranked fourth in industrial output, trailing behind Britain, France, and Germany. But by the year 1900, it had surged past all of them, producing more industrial goods than all three combined. So what happened, and how did it happen? Between 1869 and 1899, the U.S. population nearly tripled. Farm production more than doubled. But the real story? The value of manufactured goods increased sixfold. Within just three generations of the Civil War, the U.S. exploded from a mostly rural nation to an urban industrial powerhouse. It was now the workshop of the world. Much of that transformation started with iron and steel. Before the Civil War, steel production in America was almost non-existent. But by 1880, the country was producing 1.4 million tons of it. The game changer? The Bessemer process, invented in 1855 by Sir Henry Bessemer. It made steel cheaper and faster to produce from pig iron straight into usable steel. This new steel industry flourished in western Pennsylvania and eastern Ohio where iron ore and soft coal were plentiful. Cities like Pittsburgh boomed, quickly becoming the steel capital of the world. But it wasn't just steel. The steel industry needed lubrication, and that created demand for another new industry, oil. In 1859, Edwin L. Drake drilled the first successful oil well in Titusville, Pennsylvania, and that sparked an oil rush. Then came a man by the name of John D. Rockefeller. In 1870, he formed the Standard Oil Company in Ohio. By 1879, Rockefeller controlled up to 95% of the oil refining in the country. More on him in future episodes. Perhaps the most revolutionary innovation of all was electricity. In the 1870s, pioneers like Charles Brush developed arc lamps for street lighting, while Thomas Edison and Louis Latimer brought us the incandescent light bulb. Soon, cities had power plants, electric lights lit up homes, powered streetcars, elevators, and, before long, skyscrapers. With all this production and innovation, the U.S. also needed better ways to communicate. The installation of electrical telegraph wires in the 1800s made it possible to send messages instantly across the country and even to Europe via the transatlantic cable. Then came the telephone, patented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. By 1880, there were 50,000 phones in the United States. By 1900, over 1.3 million. Business, government, and everyday people were suddenly more connected than ever before. And then there was the iron horse, the railroad. Between 1865 and 1890, railroads expanded from 35,000 miles of track to a staggering 167,000 miles. This was made possible by the adoption of standard gauge tracks and better steam engines that ran on coal. Railroads didn't just move people, they consumed massive amounts of coal, employed thousands, and transported raw materials to factories, and finished goods to markets. They were the lifeline of the Second Industrial Revolution. All of these innovations fueled the rise of large-scale manufacturing. 
Factories became more efficient. Machines did more work. Goods were produced faster and cheaper. And as access to natural resources grew, so too did the ability to automate production. It was the birth of modern mass production, and America led the way. These decades also saw an explosion of invention. In the 1790s, the U.S. Patent Office recorded just 276 patents. By the 1890s, that number had soared to over 235,000. Some of the biggest inventions of the late 19th century included the air brakes, the automatic signals, the telephone, the electric light, and the typewriter, all invented in the 1870s. A decade later in the 1880s, we have the elevator and the use of structural steel giving rise to America's first skyscrapers. In the 1890s, we have the kinetograph or the motion picture camera, the electric generator paving the way for refrigerators, and the internal combustion engine, which set the stage for the automobile revolution. From coal mines to power plants, from factories to telephones, from the Bessemer converter to the incandescent light bulb, America in the late 1800s was a nation in transformation. It was loud, it was fast, and it was messy. But it marked the beginning of something massive, a new industrial America that would shape the world for the next century. And we're just getting started. But that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.